Hey Kid Life, welcome to the fourth and final week where we're still talking about kindness. This week, we're talking about being kind to people who are different from us. And it's really important, and here's why. Because one time in my life, I only liked hamburgers. Like only, I loved hamburgers. Oh my goodness, I, any place we went, I would order a hamburger. And then one day, my, my mom said, Sam, you know there are other things on the menu than hamburgers. And I was like, none of them matter. They're not hamburgers. She's like, well, you might actually like something else. It's like, my mom's usually right, so okay. I was like, well, what should I order? And she said, you could try tacos. It's like, tacos? Oh, that doesn't sound very good, but I guess I'll try it. And so I ordered tacos and it came out and, and I put a little lime on there and a little hot sauce and I took a bite and it was like, goodness this is amazing I'm like I don't even want to eat another hamburger in my life all I want is tacos and ever since then I've been obsessed but here's the thing if I only ever from now on ate tacos guess what I might miss out on something else that's amazing see God created everyone differently and he created the world to be filled with unique things all different from each other and God loves variety, and he wants us to love variety as well. Which means that everyone in this world is unique. And God has called us to love people who look different, who act different, who talk different, who, who are from different places than we are. And when we do that, it's not always easy. Because when if we're going to be honest, sometimes it's easier to like and be around the people that are just like us, because we know what to talk about. We we have things that we like, that each other like the same thing, and it, it can just be easy. But if we only do that, we'll miss out on getting to know people and being kind to people that are gonna make our lives so much better. Why? God loves variety. He loves different people. That's why he made us all different. He's called us to love others even when they don't look like us or act like us. Ultimately, he's called us to be kind to others who are different than us. So this week, we're going to learn all about it. So get up on your feet, shake it out. We're dancing, we're singing, we're getting to this worship in a three, two, one, go. Give a little kindness, give a little kindness, give a little 
Kid Life. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, today's bottom line is when given the choice, oh, so sorry, be kind to those who are different from you. I'm starting over. Cut. <laughs> Cut all that out. Really good. I'm not sure I was out of the way when you started. Oh. <laughs> okay. And don't be Good morning, Kid Life. I hope you're having a wonderful morning. Today's bottom line is be kind to those who are different from you. We're going to talk about a story in the Bible where there is a man that approaches Jesus and asks him a question. This man is very intelligent. He's actually a man of the law. So he's trying to ridicule Jesus in front of a lot of people um, to make him make himself feel feel like he's smarter. So this man comes to Jesus and he says, Teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? Then Jesus said to him, What is written in the law? How do you read it? So then this man responds to Jesus and says, You shall love the Lord your God with all of your heart and all of your soul, with all of your strength and with all of your mind, and your, love your neighbor as yourself. But then the man says, um, you have an then Jesus says, you have answered correctly. Do this and you will live. So basically the man knew the law. He answered correctly. So then that's Jesus said, you do that and you will have eternal life. But this man wanted to know, what is the minimum that I have to do to get into, into heaven? Like, what is the minimum amount? Like, I just want to pass. Like, out of an A to an F, I want a D. Just pass me along. And so then Jesus replied with this parable, which is basically a story to illustrate what he, the point he's trying to make. So in this story, he says, There was a man going down from Jerusalem to Jericho, and he fell among robbers who stripped him and beat him and departed. So now there's this man alongside of the road that has been beaten and robbed. So he's half dead. So then, <clears throat> now by chance, a priest was going down that road. And when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. So there's a priest, which is essentially a pastor. And you would think that a pastor would want to take care of this person, correct? But no, he just passed on by. So then it says, so likewise, a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. Now, a Levite was also someone who knew of God. They went to church. They knew the law. They knew what they should have done. But instead, they just kept on walking. How sad is that? Two people who are in God's house aren't willing to help a man who is half dead on the road. But then it says, A Samaritan, as he journeyed, came to where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion. Now, I'm going to stop here for a second because Samaritans and Jews did not get along. They came from the same family, but they did not like each other. They were enemies, okay? So it's kind of like we all love soda. They, you know, it's so good. I love Coke. My dad loves Pepsi. You know, at home, we struggle because they are rivalries, right? It's like, which is better, Coke or Pepsi? And you'll see so many people try to debate which is better. But in this case, it's not which is better, it's just they just don't like each other. And so a Samaritan in this during this story should have been the one to say, I'm not going to help you and keep walking by. But instead, it says that he went to him, bound up his wounds, poured oil and wine. Then he set him on his own animal and brought him to an inn and took care of him. The next day, he, he took out two denarii and gave them to the innkeeper, saying, Take care of him, and whatever more you spend, I will repay you when I come back. Which of these do you think proved um, to be a neighbor to the man who fell among the robbers? So Jesus asked this 
to the man of the law that was asking his questions, which one of these do you think was following the law? And this is what he said. He said, the one who showed him mercy. And Jesus said to him, you go and do likewise. And this is such a powerful story because today we're talking about being kind to those who are different from you. And as I think about What's something that we've seen and we can all relate to that is just like this? I thought about the movie Wonder, which maybe you guys have all seen. It's about this young uh, young child. His name is Augie, and he has a lot of um, facial features that are not the same as everyone else. And so everyone is really mean to him and they exclude him and they make him feel so terrible. Maybe you have the same issue at school. It's not so much that you look different, but people treat you differently and you just don't understand why. Or maybe there's someone in your classroom that you see that people treat that way and you do the same thing because everyone else does it. But you know, one of the quotes that I love from that movie is that at the very end, Augie says, when given the choice between being right or being kind, choose kind. And it's because it's so hard to let go of our pride, to let go of um, our smartness and just be kind to others. So today I just want to challenge you to be kind because here's the, the uh, most important part is that God does the same thing for us on a daily basis. See, we cannot have a relationship be God, with God because every single day we sin. We do bad things, but God chooses every day to forgive us and to show us love and kindness. And every single day, we don't deserve it. Every single day, Miss Marcella messes up and every single day, I don't deserve God's forgiveness. But I am so thankful that he does. And because I know his kindness and love towards me, I'm able to show that same love and compassion to those around me. So during this week, I just want you to be kind to those who are around you because it may change someone's life. So let's pray. God, I'm so thankful because you are so kind to us and so forgiving. Lord, we mess up over and over and over again, and yet you still show us kindness and mercy. We don't deserve it, Lord, but you still are faithful. So we just pray that this week we are able to acknowledge all that undeserving kindness that you show us and that we're able to show it to others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, guys, 
It's Mr. Sam, and I'm here to say bye. I'm here to let you know it was so great hanging out with you. I hope you guys go home, eat some tacos because they're amazing. And listen, if you already are eating tacos all the time, maybe try something else. Maybe, maybe broccoli, who knows? You know what? But what we really want you to learn is be kind to people who are different from you, all right? The whole world is filled with people who are different from you. And if you only hang out and you're only kind to those who look and act like you, you're gonna miss out on some amazing things that God has for you. So be kind to people who are different than you. You guys have an amazing week. We'll see you next series. Bye.